Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Nas. And I'm Alba and we are in London and in this video we're gonna be taking you through how to rent property in London because these days is very difficult. If you're moving to the city anytime soon, you will know that renting in London right now is crazy. It is tough. If you are feeling stressed about finding a room or finding an apartment, don't worry, we got you. We're gonna take you through everything you need to know, everything that you need to rent a place. And we will leave the timestamps below, so feel free to skip ahead to the section that is most relevant to you. If you're moving to London, you will probably start looking into accommodation options before you even move into the city. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! You don't want to commit to a long-term rental if you don't actually see the place. And so we always recommend people to book a short-term flat on Airbnb, for example, for at least a week. This will allow you to get to the city, get some viewings done, and actually see some places with your own eyes. We will explain later on in this video why that's so important, especially in London. Renting short term is always gonna be more expensive than renting long term, so do expect to pay a little bit more per day and per week when you get your uh, place for those initial few days. Now, once you've sorted that out, you wanna start your search for your long term place in London. When you start doing that, you need to take into account that there's different types of rentals that you can get when you come into the city. One of them is renting your own place, right? Renting your one bedroom or two bedroom or however many bedrooms that you need. Um, but if you are a young person coming alone, uh, maybe you don't want to spend so much money on rent, there is another option for you, which is renting a room in a shared house. If you rent a room, you might want to look into spare room, for example. If you rent a full flat, you might want to look into Rightmove, so different websites for different types of searches. Now the time comes to rent a flat. In my opinion, you should always try to filter down the top neighborhoods you want to live in. For example, living in Brixton and living in Chelsea are completely different experiences and completely different price points. In fact, if you sign up to matuso.com, which is our website, you'll be able to see the price, the price points of different neighborhoods and compare them. That will help you make a choice. The reason why this is so important is also because London is so big. If you open up your search for the whole city, you're really gonna struggle, especially if you wanna rent your own place. Once you've narrowed down those top neighborhoods that fit your lifestyle and, very importantly, that have a good commute to your work, um, you can then talk to real estate agents in those areas. And if you talk to them in advance and provide them with your contact details, they'll be able to call you up or send you an email as soon as a property that fits your criteria comes into the market. And honestly, that is the best way to find a good deal. So to give an example, we at Matutu, we often help people find a place to live. And uh, a lot of the ways in which we, we help them uh, to make sure that they get the flat that they want is we call up real estate agents, we give all the criteria, the budgets, the preferences, the area preferences as well. And then once a property becomes available, before it even goes online, they give me a call and we get that property sorted for our, for our clients, for the people who, who work with us. Now, you've started your search and you're starting to view flats. What you need to know is that you need to have a number of documents and a number of things in order in order to actually rent that flat. So the first thing that you're gonna need when you wanna rent a place in the UK is proof of right to rent. Um, that is essentially a government uh, document that proves that you have the right to live, uh, work or study in the UK. And in the UK government website, you can download what they call a share code that basically proves that. If you need more information or you don't know where to find this code, make sure to sign up to matuto.com where we provide the links to all these important resources. The second thing is proof of income. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised, but at the end of the day, the landlords will want to make sure that you can afford the rent. So if your rent is £1,000 per month, they may ask you for £2,500 per month of monthly income. So make sure that you have 
either pay, pay slips or your employment contract that can serve well as your proof of employment and proof of income. Now you might be wondering what happens if I'm a student or what happens if I don't have an income just yet um, that I can provide on my application. Um, unfortunately it is more difficult to rent an apartment if that is your situation but there are work around that. Um, if you work with the Matuto team, we will help you overcome those. But here are some tips to make sure that you can get a place. Um, a lot of the times they might ask you for a UK guarantor. What is that? That is essentially someone who lives in the UK, who has a proof of income, who can co-sign um, the lease with you in case basically you don't pay your rent, they are liable for paying that rent on your behalf. Another option is to pay front. Yeah. Not the 12 months, but perhaps if you offer to pay three months up front, mm -hmm. you will be able to get uh, um, a lease signed yeah. much faster. And sometimes certain landlords or certain real estate agents are more flexible and they might just ask you for proof of funds. So do you have a bank account with significant funds that where they can see that you are able to afford that flat for the period of time that you are signing. Ultimately, if you're a student, it will be a lot easier to just go to student halls, yeah. student accommodation. That will make it so much easier for you yeah. to rent a flat because they're already used to renting it yeah. to students. And they have programs in place to rent that for international students. The third thing that you will need uh, to provide once you have provided those two documents are some references. So usually uh, landlords and real estate agents uh, want references from you to make sure that you know you work where you say you work um, a lot of the times they might ask you for uh, good referencing from previous landlords you were a good tenant and you paid your bills on time that will give you plus points during your referencing checks with your places in the UK and then the last point is deposit mm -hmm. you will have to pay a deposit upfront to rent in the UK yeah. in London um, and normally this deposit is up to five weeks worth of rent Okay, it can go up to six, but it's normally up to five, depending on the price point. And one thing that a lot of people forget that they don't know is there's a thing called the Deposit Protection Scheme, DPS. So when the landlord takes the deposit from you, they have to officially put that money into a government backed uh, sort of security uh, and they have to give you a receipt for it because at the end you may want to dispute if, you want, if they want to take part of that deposit so it's always protected. Yeah. Some landlords unfortunately don't really do this, that's not legal. So these are kind of the tips and tricks yeah. that you get from you know working with us and, and, and getting our help. Even when you know all of this, it can be really difficult because the London real estate market is really competitive. Um, so here are some tips and tricks that will definitely be useful on your search. Be ready to put in an offer from the moment you do the viewing. Yeah. If you go to see a flat and the asking price is £1,000 per month, put an offer right then and make it a little bit more. <laughs> put a thousand and fifty per month because you know what more people will also put an offer and the landlord will probably have to make a choice if you offer just a little bit more money sometimes it's the best way of securing it it's not pretty but it's the truth another thing you definitely need to know is when you are viewing a place you have to check for these three things that people usually forget to check uh, firstly, what is the council tax band of that area? Um, if you don't know what council tax is, uh, make sure to check out matuto.com where we explain all of that, but essentially it's an additional tax that you're going to have to pay to live in that place and some areas are more expensive than others. Secondly, how is the water pressure of that apartment? Uh, some houses have really bad water pressure, so you want to be checking that. Um, and thirdly, if you are renting a place uh, that comes furnished, how is the mattress? Like, is the bed really bad? Because that can really make a difference on your sleep. We have had bad experiences in the <laughs> past, so we recommend you to check the mattress for sure. Yeah. In this final section of the video, I want to talk to you about things to avoid when you're renting a flat in the UK. If you're looking for a flat, you might go to places like Facebook groups, which sometimes are okay. But guess what? A lot of the posts are too good to be true. And if they're too good to be true, they're a scam. People are going to try to make you pay a fee up front before even seeing the apartment. They won't take a call with you. And sometimes it'll look so realistic, they will even send them their ID. And it will look real, but it's not. A lot of these times, 
if you don't get to see the flat yourself with your eyes or have a video call with someone who's actually showing you in live feed it's a scam so don't trust it yeah uh, the top tip is never get anything never pay anything without seeing the place in person now another thing that you might want to think about if you are renting a room in a house share is can you meet uh, your housemates because living with people i'm sure you already know can be tricky so if you're able to meet them on the viewing day itself it will make your life a lot easier if you do get along with them and of course you want to be able to trust them right you are going to leave your all your belongings in the house you want to make sure that nothing's going to be stolen or you're not going to have any big problems yeah and then the last thing which is just a plus how is the vibe of the place that you're renting do does it smell bad yeah. are the corridors uh dirty yeah. is the carpet really stinky <laughs> is the vibe just wrong because yeah. in some places you will be able to notice this and it yeah. will make you instinctively back off yeah and the problem with london is that because the market is so competitive a lot of the times you might feel an urgency to just get the place even though you don't like it don't try to succumb to the pressure of the real estate agents and the market if a place feels wrong for you it probably is <laughs> yeah absolutely don't rent it i know that there's a lot of things that we didn't cover in this video there's more technicalities there's more legal bits bits there's more tips and tricks on how to rent a place in london but in this video it was just about the basics so yeah. if you are looking for a place to rent get in touch with us honestly we will help you out as best as we possibly can yeah and don't forget to check matuso.com because you can find resources tips on transportation national yeah. insurance number which is a completely different thing mm -hmm. taxes and so on and so forth if you are moving to london it is a game changer make sure to check it out and the best part of all is that you can get a free account it is free to sign up so yeah. <laughs> what are you waiting for go check it <laughs> Um, but that's gonna be everything for this video. Let us know guys in the comments if there's any specific things about moving to London or renting that you want us to cover in the next video. We are here in London and we are excited to talk to you more about it. For um, sure. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do and hit that like button. We like that like button. Yeah. <laughs> we will see you in our next video.